So here we go with the latest in-test item over at the Panda Express Innovation Kitchen in Pasadena, California. That's right, guys. On the inside of this little box, I've got their all-new dim sum bite. So stay tuned because it's up next for you. I'm Ian Kay, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. So it looks like I've got some crispy fried golden goodness to get into with this one, guys. The dim sum bites over here at the Panda Express Innovation Kitchen in Pasadena, California. And starting off with the obvious off to the side, we've got a large chicken egg roll, which features cabbage, carrots, green onion, and chicken inside of a crispy wonton wrapper. And guys, this is a mainstay on their menu, and it looks really, really awesome. Off to the side, we've got the two new additions on their menu that are available until the end of November, guys. Starting off with the mini lobster shrimp dumplings. Basically, what we've got here is a couple of pieces that are crafted with a premium blend of lobster, shrimp, cream cheese, and veggies all on the inside of a thin, crispy wrapper. And as you can see, guys, they look fairly decent, like standard gyoza, if anything, but still pretty nice with the ingredients list on that one. And surrounding those mini lobster shrimp dumplings are the mini chicken wontons, a five-piece order consisting of crispy wontons filled with chicken and veggies. And of course, everything is deep fried here, guys. Looking pretty nice, and I gotta say, presentation-wise, it looks pretty inviting, especially in the crunchiness of it. Off to the side, it looks like I have a little bit of a sweet sauce for dipping, and considering the red flakes that it's got, I'm thinking it's gonna deliver a little bit of heat, too. But guys, let's see how these all pair up together. These are the all-new dim sum bites available for a limited time only here at the Panda Express Innovation Kitchen in Pasadena, California. Let's peep out this flavor. So I gotta say, it's pretty cool to live only a couple of miles away from this location here in Pasadena, California, because hopefully what you're seeing here is gonna go national. And considering the fried crispy goodness I've got here in my hands right now, I can't see it not, because guys, you can't go wrong with the selection of this goodness here, especially with that egg roll action. Very, very nice. So let's start off with the egg roll itself. And as you can see here, very nice, fairly large. It's wrapped pretty beautifully and obviously fried it beautifully as well. Let's go for a quick bite of this one and then we'll get into the goodies right after. Hang on. Hmm. Crispy, crunchy. Lots of chicken and veggies in that. Hmm. That is nice. Fried crispy golden action on this. Not bad. Yeah, I don't get the egg rolls too often over here at Panda Express, and now I'm beginning to wonder why, because the flavor is pretty awesome on this, guys. I'm probably going to have to be doing this a little bit more often than usual, and that may be the reason why this is included as part of their Dim Sum Bites menu, to get you to give it a go. But as you can see, a lovely situation with the amount of filling on this one. And i got to say, since I've got it here, let's go for a little dip. Let's give this a shot. A very lovely situation of goodness on this one, guys. kind of hugs everything together there. A nice little dip. Let's give it a shot with the sauce real fast. Mmm. Oh yeah. Very sweet. Red pepper flakes on this one. Adding a little bit of heat. That's pretty good. So yeah, I'm really glad I got the chicken version of the egg rolls, guys, because the other option on the menu naturally is the veggie roll, which is basically the same thing as what I'm having right now, minus the chicken, but they add celery to it. So I think a little bit of Chinese noodles are thrown into the mix as well. But guys, the chicken is very, very hearty. So let's go for one more little dip and one more bite and we'll get into the other goodies. But so far, this is very tasty, especially with the sauce, guys. It really does pretty nicely in the flavor department with the heat. Let's go for one more bite. Mmm. So yeah, I'm not hating on this. It is very, very tasty. All right, let's go into these little chicken wontons, the mini action with this one. So far, this is kind of plain looking for what it is, but let's just see how the flavor is on these. A little five piece order. It's a crispy wonton, chicken, and some veggies. Light saltiness, it's not bad. These are little bite-sized actions with this, but not bad for what this is, guys. I don't know about the dim sum aspect of what this is, but it's okay. I mean, it's hearty, crispy, fried wonton golden goodness. Not really hating on it, it's okay. But in terms of dim sum, I guess maybe it's something you might see available at a regular restaurant doing the dim sum situation, but this is just okay. So let me grab another one here and we'll go in for a little dip. We're gonna be doing this a lot. I have a feeling a little freak nasty. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Let's give it a shot with the sweet sauce and the heat I'm thinking is gonna be pretty good. This sauce really elevates everything. So I see why they pair it. And take a look on the inside, a nice little piece of chicken there as well. So these are okay. They're bite size. I don't know if it's really kind of worth it for five bucks for what I got here, to be honest, but it's okay considering it's a test. So let's give this a shot one more time. I'm going to get into the lobster action coming up next, but I'm really digging the sauce with this, guys. It's pretty good. Good snack. 
All right, and for the main event, and again, this looks like just your standard type of gyoza that you would find at any particular fast food Chinese restaurant, if anything there, but it looks pretty good, but the combination of cream cheese, shrimp, lobster, I'm hoping that's gonna be pretty banging. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. I needed more of these in the box than the other ones. I'm almost getting like a, a crab rangoon situation, kind of like the folded fortune cookie thing with cream cheese, some crab in there. Very, very nice. I'm tasting more of that cream cheese action. Maybe a little bit of the shrimp so far, but in terms of lobster, I guess it's in there, right? But the outer crisper coating is really pretty nice on this as well. So let's go for some more dip action. Of course, we're gonna get into that other one as well. This is pretty tasty, guys. But again, the cream cheese action feels like a different variation of like a cream cheese rangoon, so to speak, but I like it. Mmm. That bite had a lot of cream cheese. Not really getting anything else from it though. But it's fried, it's crispy, it's tasty. Let's give this a shot. Pretty, pretty nice. It's good, especially with the sauce. So yeah, guys, like I said, I'm glad I live pretty close to this location to try all of these items for you guys. And I think I'm gonna round this one out with another bite of this action because they only give you two. Considering the price point with this one, I guess it's okay, but I really would have liked to have had maybe a couple more of these and a little less of the chicken wontons because those are, I think, the throwaway. But a lovely situation here. And I gotta say, overall, the flavor is really nice on these. Quote unquote, lobster version for what it is, I guess. But it's more cream cheese than anything else. But I like it. It's fried, it's crispy, it's good. Let's go for one more bite and we'll wrap this up with the rating coming up next. Hang on. Well, on the real, I know this is just a test, but for five bucks, I think it's just a little bit more expensive than it needs to be considering what I've got here, guys. But of course, with the main highlight being the lobster and shrimp dumplings, that's what you wanna have more of. Naturally, with the chicken wontons, they're a little bit more of a throwaway. And of course, with the standard egg roll being what it is, it's okay. But considering this lobster in the name of one of these, I guess that's why the premium is what it is. But still, a lot of fried crispy golden goodness. And I would recommend trying this at least once if you're in the area. It's not bad for what it is. And being that it just popped into my head, I can't forget to tell you guys that you can also get the new apple pie roll over here as part of this dim sum setup as well. So naturally you can choose any of the three items for the price point so it's decent for what it is. And considering that apple pie roll, take a look at that review that's jumping up on your screen here right now. I had a lot of fun checking out that item when it came out a few weeks ago, putting it up against the Mickey D's goodness for their apple pie. So do check that one out guys, it was a lot of fun to do. All right, so with that said, I'm gonna have to give the three items that I chose as part of the all new limited time only dim sum bites over here at the Panda Express Innovation Kitchen in Pasadena, a pretty decent seven and a half out of 10. I'm not gonna go much higher than that because like I said, guys, it's a lot of fried crispy golden goodness. And while the egg roll is definitely on point, I wish I had just a little bit more quantity on the inside of some of those chicken wontons. It needs just a little bit more considering how small they are. But the main highlight easily is gonna be the lobster and shrimp dumplings. Those are the highlight. And again, they do kind of remind me of crab rangoons and the flavor is definitely very similar because of that. But still, presentation wise, it was pretty tasty for what it was as well. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. If any of you are living in the Pasadena area and you've given these a shot already, what did you think of the overall flavor? And for those of you who are not in the area, do you guys want to see some of these things go national? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.